What are the pros and cons of living in Kingston, Ontario? Let's find out. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Katherine Newman and I'm a real estate agent in beautiful Kingston, Ontario. And I make new videos each week all about living in Kingston as well as buyer and seller tips. So make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss them. So I'm sure you've been hearing all the buzz about Kingston being such a great place to relocate to. But there's got to be a downside, right? Kingston is an awesome place to live with way more pros than cons. But there are some cons. So listen up because I'm going to give you my honest opinion of the pros and cons of living here. Now keep in mind that some pros can be cons and some cons can be pros, just depending on your own personal perspective. So just keep that in mind and let's get started. We'll start with the pros first. There's so many great things about living in Kingston. And the first pro is all about all of the amazing outdoor recreation. The possibilities are endless. There are so many conservation areas, provincial parks, hiking trails, campgrounds, and endless lakes around for swimming, fishing, and boating. There's trails for snowmobiles and ATVs, and the list goes on. Next week, I'll be talking about my favorite places to hike around the Kingston area, so make sure that you look out for that video as well, if you enjoy hiking. This next one depends on where you are moving from. But in general, Kingston is still an affordable area to move to. In saying that, prices have increased significantly over the past five years, and many in Kingston may tell you that homes are now unaffordable. But it is still a lot more affordable than, say, Toronto or Ottawa or other areas in Canada. The average price of a home is now sitting just over 700000 Compare that to Toronto at just over 1.2 million, Ottawa at se uh, over 750,000, or Vancouver at 1.3 million. Another pro is Kingston's great location. It is only 20 minutes to the nearest border crossing in the United States if you want to do a little shopping. You can also reach Toronto or Ottawa in about two hours if you enjoy the larger cities or larger sporting events. Not to mention that it is right along the shores of Lake Ontario offering lots of beautiful scenery and parks. Another pro is entertainment. There's always something to do in Kingston. Whether that be attending an event or a festival downtown, taking in a boat cruise, or going out for dinner at one of Kingston's many amazing restaurants, since, since Kingston is a tourist hotspot, there's always something going on to keep you entertained. If you go to visitkingston.ca, I'll put the link below, there is an events page there where you can see all of the upcoming events. I could go on and on about the pros, like how Kingston is home to Queen's University, St. Lawrence College, and the Royal Military College. Kingston's a safe place to live, or how there are so many amazing small towns you can live in and around Kingston as well, if you prefer to have access to the city but live in the country, as well as how friendly and helpful, helpful people are that live here. But we would be here all day. So feel free to reach out with any questions that you have about the area. Okay, so now let's get into the cons. The first con is the cost of renting a home if you're looking to rent. Some people can spend more than 50% of their income just on rent. The average rent is somewhere between just over 1300 to just over 1500 There are a couple of factors that come into play that make renting a home less affordable here. Number one is that we are right along the shores of Lake Ontario, and people want to be close to lakes, so that immediately raises the price. Number two is that Kingston has a low vacancy rate with lots of competition in the rental market, so that pushes prices up as well. The second con to some is the student population. A very large portion of the population is students, and that can be somewhat, and there can be somewhat of a divide between the student population and other residents. Now that won't affect you whatsoever. I know it certainly doesn't affect me, unless you end up living anywhere near the university campus or student living areas, because there you can expect to hear a lot of noises at all hours of the night, especially during homecoming or St. Patty's Day celebrations that are really big celebrations for the students. So just a heads up in case you're looking to purchase down in that area. It's good to know so you're prepared. The next con is how long it can take you to get from one side of the city to the other. Now traffic pales in comparison to the larger cities. However, there are lots of lights along with the traffic and so it can take a while to get across the city. There are of course back roads and you can jump on the highway to get around it and get to there faster, but you need to know the quick routes or you have to want to drive on the highway. The final con is shopping. Now Kingston has a lot of amazing unique local shops that you have to check out, as well as all the basics that you'll need. 
However, because it's a smaller city, if you're a big shopper, then you'll have to venture over the border or into the bigger cities to find what you're looking for. But like I said in the pros, getting to all of those locations is pretty quick and easy due to Kingston's convenient location, and it makes for a fun trip as well. So that's it for my pros and cons list. If you have any questions about the Kingston area, please feel free to reach out. My contact information will be low will be below and make sure you tune in next week where I discuss my favorite places to hike in and around the Kingston area. I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you soon. Take care.